So the first topic we're going to look at in this section is how to generate scatter plots in Excel's Stat Pro. Okay. So we're going to look at a file called Sparmax in your lecture notes. Uh, so I believe that was from session three from your uh, go into your lecture folder and then your data folder. You're going to find farmx.xls. If you're looking on Shiro in the examples from the textbook, we're looking from the textbook examples in general, from the CD that comes with your textbook, it, this file could also be called drugstoresales.xlfx. Okay, so what we're looking at here, just to zoom in a little bit, we are looking at, um, we have three different types of data here. We have a region, which is a region number. We're not going to worry about that too much. There are 50 regions in this sample. Um, there's promote and there's sales. Both promote and sales are actually percentages. And uh, like it's stated in this box here, they're percentages compared to their leading competitor. So for example, in region one, this company, which we're calling Pharmax, uh, their, their promotion expenditures are 77% of their leading competitors promotion expenditures in that region let's call it region one and their sales are 85 percent of their competitors in that region okay now if we would like to get some sort of visual representation of how data is related so in this case we're curious about how our amount spent on promotions or how Pharmax's amount spent on promotions is related to their sales First thing you can always do is go and make a chart of this. In this case, we're going to make the scatter plot. So if you go to add-ins, stat pro, charts, and scatter plot, that's one we're going to create. Notice it's got all the data highlighted. So click OK on that. And promote and sales are what we're looking to plot. And we want sales on the y-axis makes that the dependent variable. We want that to be the dependent variable because that is the one we're most interested in. And we're looking to have promote as our independent uh, variable and um, have that predict our sales. So if you will, our sales, we assume, are dependent on the promotion expenditures. So sales on the vertical axis, making it the dependent variable. Good. So here's our scatter plot. We're pretty much done. Just a couple more comments here on this scatter plot. One first thing we'll notice is this correlation number. I'm going to make it bigger by highlighting it. I just double clicked on it for starters and I'm going to make it bigger so I can actually read it here. Then unfortunately I'll have to go in and expand this box as well. There we go. Okay, now we can get rid of the legend. Okay, we can make the font of the sales and the promo labels bigger. We could adjust a whole bunch of other things on this graph as well to make it look nicer. For example, these labels as well could be larger, but that's not so important for now. So just a couple more comments. If you will, we're actually done making the scatter plot, but just a comment or two on this one. So Correlation coefficient, we're going to look at it a lot more in the future. This is our R, if you will. Okay. This is our correlation coefficient. It tells us how strong of a linear relationship there is between the sales and the promotion expenditures. Uh, in this case, it's not very strong. Strong would be close to 1, if you will. Why is that? Well, there is an upward trend here to the relationship between promote and sales, but there's also a fair amount of deviation away from that trend. So not a perfect linear relationship, but not bad. So again, just note when you make your scatter plot in Stat Pro, it also outputs this R, this correlation coefficient, which is useful to be aware of. 